join my Patreon at patreon.com slash bunnytails for the full uncut reactions. Thank you for watching. Hello, today we're watching the final episode of the first season of Legend of Korra. It is the season finale. I am loving this show so far. Thank you guys for joining me uh, for these episodes, for this journey, and I can't wait to see what's going to happen next. So let's watch the episode called uh, End Game. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, calm down. I think we found our secret airfield. I need you to tear up those runways. We can't let those aircraft take off. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Ooh, General. General. Iroh seems pretty swell so far. <clears throat> Why would there be fence posts but no fence? Oh. So is Iroh named after his great uncle or great great uncle or how does that work okay here's the rally thank you all for joining now we know a little bit of this guy's backstory occasion. a firebender struck down my entire family and left me scarred that's a lie that's a lie i'm on <laughs> Or should I call you Noah Talk? The spirits didn't give him the power to take people's bending away. He uses blood bending to do it. Amon is a waterbender. What? His father was Yakon, and his brother is Councilman Tarlock. And I will show you the truth. Ooh. This is what a firebender did to me. What? What? Okay, now. Wouldn't leave yet, Avatar. You'll miss the main event. <gasps> no, 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 no. No. They got All away. the last airbenders. What? One day you will come to your senses, and we can be a family again. Are you insane? Mom would hate you for what you've become. I am avenging her death! I mean, he could have gotten that scar from Firebenders, and he could still be Noah Talk. I intercepted your message to Commander Boomy. I know exactly where they're hiding. I don't suppose you know how to metal bend. That is a negative, sir. <laughs> mm. Who needs a metal bender? We got Naga! Yeah! <laughs> I'm going after those airplanes. Is she, what do you know? How does she know how like to use it? Industries forklift. Oh, okay. The design is similar to the forklifts. Look at that! <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, now we're gonna see some real firebending. Not that Mako can't really firebend, but I feel like Iroh's gonna have some really awesome tricks up his sleeve. Tonight, I rid the world of airbending. No. Forever. No. Come on, let them go. The Avatar needs to be reminded of the power I possess. If they... I will shut this show off. <laughs> Let's go. I'm sorry for doubting you, Mako, that you're not an absolute badass, too. Where are Pema and the baby? In prison. Taifong? I don't know. Oh, my God. That's so scary. Like... All the airbending destroyed and never able to return. And that would weaken all the future avatars too. Get them out of here. We'll create a diversion. So Tarlock said he knows he's his brother because it felt like when his brother bloodbended him. But how accurate is that? I mean, he's they wouldn't have said that whole backstory if it wasn't really Noah talk under that mask, right? the heck are they gonna fight a i mean he, this guy must be way stronger than tarlock because he he revels in this power no Cora. no no <sighs> Aang, 
Save her? I told Do something? You I would destroy you. I mean... Uh... <laughs> I don't know! 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 Oh, he looks pissed. <laughs> Whoa. Holy shit. Good job. Thanks for looking out for me, Aang. Aang's always looking out for us. Nice, Naga. Whoa! Hey, <laughs> That's Naga. a very delayed whoa. <laughs> you are aiding the very people who took your mother away. You don't feel love for mom anymore. You're too full of hatred. You ungrateful, insolent child. He's too far gone. I now see there is no chance to save you. Come on, dude. Can't you see the truth? Mr. Sato, you are a horrible father. Yeah, you tell him, Bolin. Jesus. You really are a horrible father. Why is everybody hurting my girl here? She lost the people she the two people she's close to. Come on. Oh, did he see? I just saw you bloodbend her. You traitor. Oh, mustache guy. Oh gosh. You served me well, Lieutenant. <laughs> Oh, I thought he was gonna just kill him. No, 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 no. Yes! Marco, am I bending? Everything will be all right. We oh, gosh. They should not have come here. It is almost a shame to take the bending of someone so talented. No! She airbends! No! Impossible. I can airbend? I can airbend! She can airbend! <laughs> Was he not able to take it away because it wasn't like fully there? I don't how do I say it? No! You don't! Wait, did but did she really lose her other bendings? Oh, he's handsome. Wow. Cora really turned that around. Everything seems so hopeless. It's over, brother. I'm sorry for what I had to do to you. We have a second chance. We can start over together. To do what? I can't believe Amon got you too. Hey, at least you unlocked your airbending. Bro, not the time. You saved Republic City. But Amon got away. Yay! Uncle Boomy's here! <laughs> Great. 
now I have to entertain my brother. He has the spirit of Boomy the Earthbender. Oh my god. <laughs> that wild look. Together again. There's nothing we can't do. Yes, no attack. Is he gonna attack him? This is dangerous. It will be just like the good old days. <gasps> what are you doing? Oh my god. Tarlock. I've tried everything in my power. I cannot restore Korra's bending. Korra can still airbend, but her connection to the other elements has been severed. Well, we just gotta get him back. She's just a regular airbender right. now. No, it's not. And what will this mean for future avatars? Avatar Korra, reincarnations. Wait. I'm not the avatar anymore. You don't need to do me any favors. I don't care if you're the avatar or not. I realized I love you, Cora. I, I can't. Oh, man. Maybe not the best time to say it. We need to be patient with her. It will take time for her to accept what has happened. Well, no, maybe it's the perfect time. I mean, it might take her a while to really be able to accept it. But I think that his words will help her get through this. Not now, Tenzin. I just want to be left alone. But you called me here. Whoa! Aang. You have finally connected with your spiritual self. How? Oh, so now he when can talk to her. Point, we are open to the greatest change. What? Oh, she can do it. Oh! <laughs> Wait, so... Amon... He fucked up. She evolved now because of him. Not only can she do all four elements now, but she can do Avatar State. I love you too. Ah! Oh my God. She can fix them. Can she? Too, Bolin. Thank you. I am so proud of you, Avatar Korra. Okay, I have thoughts. This episode brought us from the lowest lows to the highest highs. Like, just as Korra was at her lowest as viewers, so were we because she lost her bending. They said that they were going to intercept Boomy. We see that nowhere is safe for Tenzin and his family. Even though Asami was able to best her father in combat, she lost her father. I mean, not only is he working with these horrible equalists, but he even went as far as to attack her to try to harm her and everything's just bad. And then the airbending comes out and it feels amazing. And then she finds her connection to the spirit world She's able to contact Aang and all the other previous avatars. She gets her bending back and she can also bring the people's bending back who lost it. My only one tiny, minuscule, microscopic little nitpick was I wish that... I know they had to... They couldn't end the season on... Like, this is the perfect way to end the first season. But I kind of wish the season was a little bit longer. I wish we would have had maybe a couple episodes to really see Lynn and Korra really struggle and try to find a new way of adapting and not having their powers and going through a, a little bit more of some kind of like soul searching, some growth in other areas and things like that. But I'm sure they were just pressed for time. It was just like, they lose their powers, they get their powers back. Like, it was kind of instantaneous. I would have liked to 
have a little bit more time to simmer on like, oh my God, this is like really real and how are we going to go on uh, from here? But all this tells me is that there is a lot more that the show has to offer coming up. There's a lot more story and twists and turns and highs and lows that this uh, series is going to bring to us in the coming seasons. So I'm really excited to just see where everything is going to go. And I'm curious how Amon is going to come back into power and being a threat or if it are we going to get a new kind of villain because well he can still bloodbend and he can still take people's powers away but I think Korra is safe even if he tried to do it again she's protected by being connected to the the spiritual world and things like that but he can still bloodbend and he could still be a threat but the way they left it here kind of made it seem like maybe we've won but we know that there's more three more seasons i think i'm very curious to see what happened with tarlock and noah talk Ooh, oh and if tarlock comes back to cora and she has the power to give him his blood bending back will she do it because on the one hand it's a power that they have decided shouldn't be used shouldn't exist is forbidden but on the other hand, he can fight his brother on equal footing in an epic bloodbending battle if she gave him his powers back. But if Noah Talk can take people's bending away, can Tarlock learn that too in the future? Like, it's kind of like you have to really think about the consequences and do the, the pros weigh out the cons. Has Tarlock truly changed for the better? But since he has shown in the past that he can use his powers for evil, could he eventually go back into that? Like, should somebody be able to have that power? Korra has the decision now if she wants to give it back to him or not. Which I think she will. Because that would be epic! An epic master bloodbending brother against brother battle? Eh? Anyways, don't tell me what's gonna come up. Don't tell me what's gonna happen. But I'm excited. Thank you guys for watching the first season of The Legend of Korra with me. And I hope to see you guys for the upcoming seasons. See you guys in the comments. Let me know what you're thinking. Just don't spoil anything. And I'll see you guys next time for season two. Bye-bye.